Hello everyone and welcome back to the third episode of how to race like a pro. In this video I will cover all of the topics that you are seeing on your screen. I have already made a few videos on floaty drift and some people are still having trouble with it. Now I will show you the simplest and most effective way to perform floaty drift. Spin your car in the opposite direction of the turn and then activate nitro. When the nitro bar reaches to the blue position, then press the brake again. Let's watch it again one more time in slow motion. All you have to do is spin your car in the opposite direction of turn and activate yellow nitro and when nitro bar reaches to the blue portion press the brake again and that's how you do a perfect floaty drift Punch drift is very easy to perform and has the same effect as floaty drift. You can perform this trick to go through corners at the highest speed possible. Now I will show you how you can perform punch drift. All you have to do is start drifting and shoot nitro and immediately turn it off. You must do this while drifting and make sure the car doesn't stop drifting while performing this trick. Let's watch this clip again. Now notice my taps in this clip how I use nitro and immediately press the brake. You have to do it very quickly. Now watch the same execution at this corner. Air drift trick is different from others and I recommend you to do this trick only with bad handlings and bad drifting cars. Here is the example clip of it. Now I'll show you how to do this trick. Land on the ground with shockwave and immediately press brake. It will lift your car in the air and align your car in the direction of turn in air and go through corner with the perfect nitro. This trick is combination of floaty drift and punch drift. I use this trick when my car about to lose floatiness and needs to make it floatable again without doing a 360. Here's an example clip of it. Performing this trick is very easy, all you have to do is do a floaty drift and when your car about to lose floatiness, just do some punches and it will make the car floatable again. Racing line is very crucial skill and hard to master. On each track, different cars takes different racing lines and routes. The best way is to master this skill is to take corners very sharp and maintain top speed around corners. For maintaining speed around corners, you have to land on the outside of the track and go inside of the track. This is how you maintain high speed around the corners. And here is example videos of how different cars follow different routes on each track. Jump speed trick is very easy to perform and it allows slower car to gain air speed on low to high jumps very easily. Now I'll show you how to perform it. All you have to do is just drift a little before taking a jump and shoot orange nitro.
voltage trick is very useful for slower cars it allows slower cars to gain air speed on very low jumps it's so easy to perform all you have to do is just simply touch the wall and shoot orange nitro perfect run delay trick is very useful for bad nitro cars in tle when you hit the wall the game resets your perfect run and gives you nitro after 10 seconds of touching the wall. As you can see I touched the wall at 58 and now I will gain perfect run at 108. I kept my car in shockwave so I can extend the duration of shockwave with the help of perfect run. Gap air speed trick allows your car to gain air speed when you go over a gap. Just go over a gap with orange nitro or shockwave and you will easily gain air speed like I have shown in this video.